Hey, good afternoon. Um, Jack here again. We got another really, really neat truck. Um, this truck's been all day. It's a 1969 Chevy, but it's got a brand new crate engine in it. What I'm going to do is turn it over to Paul. Paul does all our mechanical work. He's the one that's restoring this truck. So uh, at this point, this is Paul from Prime Tune. I'm going to turn it over to him. We had a little wore out motor in this thing and we decided it would be the best thing to do was go ahead and get a GM 354 bolt and put it together and put it in here. Uh, we went ahead and did a lot of options on it, uh, upgraded some valve covers, new air cleaners, got an Edelbrock 600 on it, uh, Chevy bow tie, intake manifold. Uh, it's good little running motor. It's nice grunt, bottom end torque. Uh, Jack also opted out. He said go ahead and put some AC in this thing. So we contacted Old Air, got a complete kit for it. As you see, nice clean install, uh, just wonderful. It's a really fun truck to drive. It's got a set of little headers on it, all fresh belts. I mean, it's ready to go, guys. Fire it up and enjoy it. Have a wonderful afternoon riding this thing around. Just your ultimate little hot rod. We love this body style. 69 through 72 is really, really nice body style. Um, I can't say enough about this video. What I like about this particular AC kit is it really looks like a factory install. The con condenser brackets are nicely fitted to the radiator support. You got nice hard plumb lines coming off the dryer. We went ahead and ran the lower si high side line coming off the dryer, coming through underneath the battery box, ran the wires up underneath the transmission lines and the discharge hoses to keep the engine compartment as clean as possible. We went ahead and installed the heater control valve right beneath the suction tube so that the appearance underneath the hood looks like a very, very factory install. Let me walk you to the inside and show you how I decided to put the air conditioning vents in. What I decided to do is most AC kits come with the vents so that you can place them underneath the dashboard. I find that to be a really cheesy way of installing the air conditioning vents. So I wanted a kind of a stock factory look on the dashboard. So we went ahead and we installed the, the uh, AC vents right into the dash, cut a nice little clean hole, plumbed it all. And as you can see, we went ahead and upgraded the AC control panel as well because the old heater panel was just wore out and a couple of pieces were non-existent. I think this leaves it to a nice clean install and something that anybody can get in the car, not fiddle around with switches, they'll know exactly what they have to do to turn the AC on. Thanks a lot guys, enjoy your afternoon, enjoy this truck if you get it.